Veal practiced with the team today and will travel with them to Atlanta for this weekend's ACC tournament. Grizel is reported to have telephoned the alleged victim in the case three times this past Saturday and urged her to drop her charges so Veal could play. According to today's Baltimore Sun, Grizel told the woman there would be trouble if she didn't drop her complaint. Some students said this amounted to a subversion of their judicial process. Today at practice, we asked the coach if he had made the call. Hey, I call a lot of people, all right, and uh, who I call is my own business, and um, I'm not worried about if I did call or if I didn't call it. It's immaterial anyway. It's said that when you did call her, if that happened, that you urged her to drop her complaint. Did that happen? Nope, that did not happen. Did you call her? I'm not answering that at this time. Now, look, you want to get off air now or what? No, sir, I wanna, I'm want to. i still on the record. I wanted to ask you one other thing. Well, what do you want to ask? The one other thing I wanted to ask was uh, what your feeling is about whether the player... What, hey, what I, my feeling is on this, I ain't going to say right now, okay? I am on Hermanville's side, and that's all I'm going to say, all the, right? The women's center on campus I don't upset. care about the women's center. I'm a men's center, okay? I'm taking care of my players and myself. I don't care about the women's center. They seem to feel that the interest of the student, uh, if, if there was a victim, should be involved here, too. Well, hey, in my, in my mind, Hermanville is the victim. I'm not going to let a little guy like you, I don't even know your name, you know, harass me, so I'm not scared. I have no comment to make. I'm making nothing. Edward Bennett Williams is my lawyer, and he will do all of it. What have I done to circumvent the judicial system? Apparently in asking the girl to drop her complaint, no, the allegation uh -uh. is. I never asked the girl to drop the complaint, okay? I never asked the girl to drop the complaint. What did you ask her? That, I told him I'm not going to comment on it until I talk to Mr. Williams. Williams was unavailable for comment, but Herman Veal did choose to speak to us. He's not happy with the way the case has been handled. It didn't come out, you know, the way I exactly wanted it to come out. Uh, but uh, I'll just say this much. I'm satisfied within myself that uh, some of the terrible things that have been printed are necessarily fact. But uh, I can't really go into it into detail. You know, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth. How do you feel about not being able to play in this uh, tournament now? Well, I'm very upset about that because, you know, it's, uh, basketball is part of my livelihood. And I'm very upset that I can't play basketball this coming weekend. I'm very upset that I couldn't play against Virginia. But uh, I won't go off and jump off a building. Do you expect to play next year here at Maryland? Most definitely. Students on campus were divided in their opinions on the case, but some objected strongly to Grizel's alleged intervention. I think that's ridiculous. I don't think she should drop a charge. I don't think he had a position there to intercede because that, that's a legal matter outside of the team. I heard that Lefty Drysdale called up the girl three times and harassed her over the phone, and I don't agree with that at all. I think he should still be able to play an ACC tournament.